Boston Celtics forward Jason Tatum, left, is defended by Charlotte Hornets forward Miles Bridges during the second half of an NBA basketball game, Wednesday, February 2, 2022, in Boston, AP photo slash Stevenson at Boston, the Celtics finally got over the hump. After floundering right near the 500 mark for the entire season, they're climbing in the right direction. They even did so after vanquishing another one of their season-long woes in finishing the fourth quarter. While the Hornets erased an 11-point lead in the final minutes to tie the score, the Celtics scored the final six points in their 113-107 win Wednesday at TD Garden. You just keep your composure, guard Marcus Smart said of finishing the game. You calm everybody down and make sure we get the greatest show that we can and you do it that way. You don't try to do it alone. You just take what the game gives you and it's part of it. The victory puts Boston coach Emeo Doka's team at a season best three games above. 500 at 28 to 25. While there are 29 games remaining in the season, the ninth place sees are just five. Five games behind the first place Bulls. That leaves the Celtics in arguably one of their most important upcoming stretches of games over the next week. Boston has three games ahead of the February 10th trade deadline, and all of them look promising. All three games are on the road, but against winnable opponents. The Celtics first take on the Pistons on Friday. While Detroit has perked up its play behind number one pick Cade Cunningham, that's still a game the Celtics should be favored in. Then it's the Magic on Sunday, arguably the worst team in the league. Both those games, if the Celtics take care of business, are there for the taking for a five-game winning streak. The most intriguing contest, though, is the nationally televised Tuesday showdown against the Nets in Brooklyn. It's the final game before the trade deadline, meaning there's some extra juice there. While the Celtics soared in recent weeks, the Nets have floundered as they miss their all-star in Kevin Durant. They're also on a six-game losing streak after falling to the Kings on Wednesday.